Raiden. Our battle changed you. For the better. Shinnok, is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. <laughs> oh, Raiden, not even you can kill an Elder God. There are fates worse than death. Again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. The arc of the universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. are legendary. Then why don't you flee, Earthrealmer? The Shaddai Ryu embrace danger. Round one, fight! So this is a Mortal Kombat game, so you expect the fighting to be brutal. MK11 sees the return of Baraka, who was a fan favorite from Mortal Kombat 2. So let's see some of the moves he does here. Not to be outdone, Scorpion has a few tricks up his sleeve. Okay, now without getting too technical, we're gonna get into some of the geeky fighting game uh, moments out there. Mortal Kombat, traditionally we've had one meter that's a shared resource amongst the offense, defense, and the super moves. Mortal Kombat X is separating all three of those. So we have a horizontal meter is the offense attacks, vertical meter is the defensive attacks. See, Baraka's gonna shoot him too using his offensive moves. 
Also can extend this leg stab here into a throw with a... Also, Scorpion here is going to escape a, from a knockdown using his defensive meter. And you're going to notice here that the uh, Fatal Blow is... That's actually tied to 30% of the of the health meter when it's reduced, you get Fatal Blow available. This adds completely new dynamic and tension to the fighting. Both in Baraka and Scorpion have a Fatal Blow right now. Baraka wins this fight. Round two, fight. <laughs> So Scorpion missed his fatal blow attack, but it actually will regenerate after a cooldown period. So you'll notice his, his fatal blow is established, he can pull it off. And now to be outdone, Baraka now has his fatal blow available. And of course, it wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities. Our second fight here is Sonya versus, versus Scarlet, who was a returning character from Mortal Kombat 9. Looking for me, Scarlet. A few pints of blood is all I ask. Trust me, I'm not your type. Round one, fight. Both Sonya and Scarlet would turn with their classic moves as well as some new ones. Sonya has a bunch of gadgets that she can play with here. while Scarlet has her signature blood attacks. We're gonna take a look at some of the nuances we have. We have a new feature called a flawless block. A perfectly timed block will open a window for countering attacks. Watch Scarlet doing a quick hop. You can evade low attacks and also open another window for uh, countering move. Now I noticed Sonya's health is reached below 30%. When it reaches there again, you're going to notice a fatal blow is available. That's when you can release the deficit. Again, Sonya has her fatal blow ready, so she can take, release it. So that was enough damage to release fatal blow available for Scarlet, which she'll attack here. which is enough to win the match, and you might have seen a glimpse of this fatality here. <laughs> fatality. Hello? Is anybody here? There has to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. 
Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. happening to me for months now I've been having these dreams nightmares but I think they were messages it's your grandmother's there's a place up north I think we can find you answers there where are we going back to where it all began I need to know the truth. Or are we the prey? She'd never be our enemy by choice. I know that. <laughs> but what if it's not her choice? A necklace? That's a locust symbol. I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Katie. Mom!
2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Got our target. No oh, mierda, she's flatlining! Do you need to know what's going on? Jackie, air hypo! Here, China! She's stable. Oh, fuera, China. Get her outside. I'll cover you. Control, patient NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered, 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrin. Hey, give us a lift out of here. No problem. Loved ones 
Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. But the anthem still rages. And walls can only do so much. But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering. Technology has always helped us unleash our creative potential by giving players more immersive experiences than ever before. In Anthem, head out into a chaotic and beautiful world. Fly across wondrous lands in your javelin exosuits. Confront deadly creatures. Formidable foes and awe-inspiring mysteries. NVIDIA takes us one step further by rendering our game with more precision and higher quality textures. Javelins, creatures, and combat have never looked better. We are happy to announce that we are working with NVIDIA to bring DLSS technology to Anthem. Check out Anthem on PC with Origin Access Premier on February 15th. We never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds and fought as we had for generations. Sky rained fire, and the new enemy came among us. And now, upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last.
valley of the shadow of death and I fear no evil because I'm blind to it all in my mind my gun they comfort me because I know I'll kill my enemies when they come Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell on this earth forevermore Said I walk beside the still waters and they restore my soul but I can't walk on the path of the right because I'm wrong No, I can't walk on the path of the right because I'm What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? I'm gonna find... and I'm gonna kill... every last one of them. I have eyes! 
beneath my feet. I'd heard of such things, yet I lived in a world without them. An underground world. I have no recollection of life before the blast. There's only Metro, nothing else! Just a girl when the bombs fell. You were right all along! It's not just Russia out there, it's the whole world! Could such things exist again? I live in hope. Slay the enemy's servants with no rest or mercy! See the people I have to work with here? Complete and utter degradation. We are the government you people deserve. I'll drown you in your own blood! So you do understand. There is no other way. Man is a beast. A beast! Who are those people trying to kill us? It's the strongest who survives! But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? <laughs> you're not saving anyone! future is still all I fear.
Someone asked me once if I remembered how it all went down. As if it happened so long ago that anyone could forget. So yeah, I remember. I remember when our homes and our towns turned into graveyards. When the wilderness became our only hope for survival. I remember when the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running. When the turbines shut down and the world went dark. I remember when they put up the razor wire like it was gonna stop anything. When the feds ran out of body bags. When some of us sort of lost our minds. I think it's dead. Some lost more than that. Much more. I remember when we lived by a code when brotherhood meant something, and living meant more than surviving. Goddamn liar! So yeah, I remember how it all went down. Working now. Working. Oh, I don't give a damn about any of that. You know what I remember most? Riding the open road. The smell of your hair. The touch of your skin. I remember you. But those days are gone. Now, I'm a drifter. A bounty hunter. A mercenary. And for me, the broken road is all that's left. But I'll always remember. I mean, the most obvious difference so far is it's... The last one was nighttime during the rain, and this is daytime during the snow. Yeah, and that you know, and, that, and it's not just cosmetic, and I think that's one of the things we really wanted to emphasize, you know, because this 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 time we're showing sort of a day in the life of Deacon. He sees all. Yes, exactly. So we wanted to have, uh, you know, this the job is basically the same. Deacon hears that his buddy's in trouble, rides out to save his life, and you know, as you can see here, this is a completely different experience from what we showed in the first demo. In the first one, Deacon gets clotheslined. Um, and it sounded very painful, by the way. Oh, that. that like, speaking of painful, um, okay, so <laughs> the combat in this game is fairly brutal. John, you want to talk about that a little well, bit? Well, we just wanted to make it as, you know, as realistic as possible. So, yeah, we're not holding back on that at all. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and Sam's done most of his own stunt work for this. And I can tell you that when we're on the performance stage and we're capturing that stuff, we just try to make, keep it real, right? Right, right. Well, right. There, there was sort of a decision made at some point. What we we've, we've been working. I've been I've been on the project for what two or three years now. Yeah, I think three years. Traps like that, and then if you're careful and you're paying attention, you can avoid them. Because in the first demo, Deacon didn't avoid it, and he set off that alarm. Right now, now this is the same tactic that he used last time. Throws the rock to get someone to. To lure lure them over and have them step in the bear trap, but this one plays out a little bit differently than last time. One of the things that, that struck me, and we've talked about this obviously as we've shot, but there's there's an effort of the other uh, marauders to get this guy to shut up, and he won't. Yeah, and so in the in the first demo, you, you Deacon's heading on down the trail, and you can hear that happening behind him. Right. And this time we're showing what happened. So, you know, he's watching everybody react to this poor guy trapped in the you know in that bear trap, and she just is like, shut up, shut up, shut up, and then just loses it and shoots the guy. Right. Right. And of course, in the meantime, Deacon you know is crafting a Molotov and just takes them all. Right. Oh, boy, this dude. Ow. Ow. Ah. <laughs> So yeah, so again, it's like in the pre in the previous demo, Dem Deacon would have gone off to the trail down to the right. This time he's going to head this way. He follows the track experience that you can earn as you're just playing through the game, and, and then you can upgrade those things. What's happening here? We got a freaker tied to a tree. Yeah, so this is another type of trap that marauders will set. They will set, you know, they will basically chain freakers um, to the perimeter of their camps, and they use them as kind of an alarm system. Mm -hmm. um, and then that, you know, you saw that marauder there. He was just tormenting the poor freaker, and then yeah. so Deacon kind of take it, takes advantage of that.
Kenny. Roger, Uma. Half the crew is dead drunk in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. Any thoughts? Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Invigorating. Captain to crew. Dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El Space Chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredient to good cooking mm, is love. We are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Nox, come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. Hey, get back here, Shani. Pull us! <laughs>
You're up, Nico. You know I got you covered, asshole. Try not to get us killed on the way there. timing. Since the fall, the city is a corpse, and we are the worms. We burrow in it, fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. choices we take to survive will create the world to come. たとえひとたび敗れるとも命を落とし主を必ず取り戻すそれが我が忍びなれば私はかつてシュラを見ました不思議
سیگیری تاسکانی مورایی او که دام سسیگا فکرو نسگاره یو ジャマダです。ニコンシノビ。狼よ。我が血と共に生きてくれ。<音楽>